Hey guys, today I'm going to do a tutorial for you on, um, well, a couple different things. Um, mainly, um, <clears throat> apply movement. Now, first we're going to talk about some scripting things. Um, people, we all know how to interact. To activate a script on a person, you simply face them and press A. Same goes for a uh, signpost. Um, now for, uh, you know, green script type thing, you have to step on it for it to activate. You understand what I mean? You have to, uh, you move to a grid in this game. I, I hope you guys realize that. Here, well, I'll, I'll activate the grid. Okay, you see there's this grid here. Everything has a grid space. This thing, it, when you put it on that grid space right there, and when the character steps on that grid space, it will activate automatically. Like, not when they're here, not when they're here, but when you step there. So, <clears throat> let me go and turn off my grid here. Oh my god. Anyway, so, I wrote up a script here. We'll open it up. And we'll reference back here to, where is it? Yeah, apply movement. <clears throat> uh, so, the way you move is these values right here. You can see OX or whatever, OX01. That sort of thing. How does this work? Well, first start with org start obviously. You can put this anything. I could have a message before apply movement. I can do, you know, anything like that. But I'm just going to right off the bat start with apply movement. So this is right away going to apply movement to 0FF. Now, what is 0FF? That is the player itself. Let's say in advanced map we want this guy to do the moving. This guy right here, sorry, his you can see his person event number is one. If I wanted him to be moving when I step when I step on the square, so if I step on the square, this will happen. So if I step on the square and I want this guy to move, I'm going to change this to zero x or one. It's that simple. But I want me. I want I I want to. I want the player to move when they step on this. So we'll do that. Now that this works in the same message in the sense that when you did a message, you did message or yeah, message one box set six, and then somewhere down here you had you know whatever org um you know one crap one, and then you had your message. So that's all this the same idea with uh, this. It says move, and it says okay. Well now you got to go fetch that. So it's going to come down here and say, oh, move, okay, and then it's going to do these values. And I told you about these values, right? So 0 0.62, let's go check what that does. 0 0.62, right here, exclamation mark is going to appear, appear over their head. So let's check what else I have. I have OX11. So what's that do? Uh, we have that step up at a normal speed. So, uh, see, I have that for three times. So that means he's going to take that means your player is going to take three steps up. So if I step here I'm going to go one, two, three and I'm going to be there. You guys know what I mean by that? Like if I were to take out two of them he would only step up once. If I wanted to step up, you know, 400 times you know, step, you know I would put 400 of these. So that's just how that works. Um, and then you see I have OX13 which is step to the right at a normal speed. You can see I can make them slow, very slow, fast. You see you can do step on the spot, which kind of like is like facing, but like, you know what I mean? Uh, face face down, non-instant. See, so you have face down here. Face away from player. You have all these different options you can play with. See, so you have uh, exclamation mark, question mark, X, two exclamation marks, and a happy thing. So, and then FE, you have to put FE at the end, just OXFE. So make sure you start off with RAW and put OXFE. Um, yeah, pause move, OXO. If we didn't have that, it would just, it, you wouldn't even move. It's like, you have to put something so that the script waits for this to finish. So you put pause move, OXOO. If we wanted to put in a certain amount of time, you can put pause and then like OX, let's say 30, and that'll wait for like 30 seconds. I think it's 30 seconds. I'm not exactly how how that works, but personally, I don't really care because you know why would you try and estimate the amount of time you should put there when you can just put pause, move, 
OXO and have it wait for this to finish automatically. Um, if you want two moves to happen at the same time, you can just, you know, let's see, while, let's say while I'm doing, while I'm moving, I want character 01 to go to move and do what move 1 says, and let's say we want move 1 to, you know, just make an exclamation mark go over his head. So we want that to happen to someone, uh, to character 1, which would be this guy. You know, let's do that, let's stick you there. And yeah, so let's go ahead and compile this and add this to the event I have there. File save. Compile script. See, I already compiled this one, so it's going to have that. So let's go. Destination, blah, blah, blah. You guys should know how to do this by now, I, I'd hope. I mean, if not, why are you even watching this? This is like bare minimum kind of thing. GBA. 130 file burn thirty okay file save now let's go ahead and test this out if it doesn't work I blame you uh, open right here actually I probably put it on the back version so the real one let's go ahead and full screen this oh wait I forgot to tell you guys one more thing when you do a, a scripting event, you have to, um, in order for it to work, e uh, zoom, I'm going to zoom over here, but see it says unknown and var number. The unknown needs to be 0, 300, and the var number needs to be 5, 240. If you don't have these two here, it will just freeze when you step on it. Okay, this is so important, I can't even stress how important this actually is. Okay, guys? So just keep that in mind. Um, Unknown and var number. Unknown needs to be 0300. Var number needs to be 5240. Make sure that's on here. And the script offset you can see is right here. Okay? So let's go ahead and test this thing out. Um, yeah. Actually, one second. <clears throat> anyway, you'll see I uh, see I changed the color of the trees a little bit there. So uh, screwed something up there. Just Just ignore that. Anyway, so you see we step on the square, and I move up. See how I did that? He, uh, hit an exclamation mark appeared over his head. Now I must have screwed this up. Yeah, uh, let's try it this way. Let's get rid of you. Get rid of you. Hmm. <clears throat> um... Yeah. The reason I didn't follow through that whole thing there is because I should have put mine first because it waited for the last one down. Uh, I hope you understand what I mean there. But um, I'm just going to show you what it does when I just do me. Crap. When I just do um, make move the character. And... One for E... Save. Um, one second. Okay, let's do this. Oh my God! See, and um, see how it keeps happening. If I wanted it to not do that, um, you just had a flag there. I hope you guys are familiar with flags by now. But yeah, you just had a flag there. Um, this this tutorial is a little bit of advanced per se, just because um. I'm really gone over everything else, but yeah, that's it for now, guys. See you later.